Hey everybody, I'm back with another video and I want to uh, go into how to uh, check a receptacle to see if you have power and to see if your polarity is right. Uh, you may have power but it might not be wired up right and this is a good way to tell if everything's uh, the way it should be. Now there's a couple different ways to do this and I'm sorry I don't have uh, some of the tools uh, to show you. Um, we're just going to be using a multimeter and uh, you don't have to have a real nice one like this. This one here uh, happens to be a field piece HB74. I've had this thing for about, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years or something. Um, had it forever. Um, you, you get what you pay for, that's for sure. Uh, but I also have some of those, uh, some of those ones you get a Harbor Freight for six bucks or free if you got the coupon or whatever. Uh, they also sell some that you, uh, that has some light indicators on it and you just plug it right in and there will be some lights that light up and tell you you know if it's the, if the grounds hooked up and and all that but uh, what prompted me to do this video was uh, I have the pool set up and the pump didn't kick on and to tell you the truth I think my pump went bad but uh, I had to start at the source and, and see what the problem is and uh, so what I wanted to do is start right here and make sure I had power so the very first thing you want to do when you're checking your power take your meter and you want to set it to the very highest scale if you're un unsure exactly what the voltage is now I know some of uh, some of my viewers are in Australia that are watch this and they have a different voltage uh, there uh, other than we do here in the United States but uh, typical household power is is 120 volts um, some people call it 110 some people call it 115 but um, it's 120 volts uh, plus or minus about 10 percent so uh, we should have in the neighborhood of 120, like I said, plus or minus uh, 10%. <clears throat> if you have anything besides that reading, uh, if it's too low, you might have, uh, you could have loose wires, you could have a bad breaker. If you have anything higher than that, uh, you might want to call your utility company. All right, so I have it set on the voltage AC scale. Uh, remember in some of my past videos, I went over the difference between AC and DC and I'm sorry a lot of you probably know the difference but I'm just trying to do everything from scratch so uh, we're dealing with AC household voltage 120 volts so we have two leads one's red one's black and it doesn't really matter when you're dealing with AC which one's which because they're just going to measure the same that only comes into play really when you're dealing with uh, DC voltage so you have two um, you have two plugs and right here is where where you're gonna stick it in to check your power so we insert the plugs my particular meter beeps when it when it reads high voltage when it reads a line voltage excuse me uh, I got 129 volts so that's within the range and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my polarity and you see I left the lead in the in the big plug and I'm not getting any readings now I'm going to stick it back in the small side and I am going to then take this lead out of the big side oh, come on and I'm going to stick it in the ground and you see I have voltage there okay so that tells you and if, again refer back to the other video I showed you there's a black and there's a white wire behind here and then there's a silver uh, or nickel plated uh, screw and then there's a, 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 a brass screw and brass is the hot or the small plug uh, the small hole in the receptacle is the uh, is the hot side one way you could think about that when you're looking at it is it's smaller for safety so the less chance of something big getting poked in there maybe you know maybe a coat hanger or something like that so the smaller one is always the one that should be hot and uh, the bottom one should be exactly the same so we have power across the two and we should have power across these two and there it is okay but we should not have power between this one and this one at all okay so I've just verified that my uh, that my my uh, plug and my receptacle is good 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the extension cord back in and let's go ahead and just, uh, I'll take you with me and, and go through the rest of the diagnostic, diagnostics process and I'll go to the other end of this extension cord. It might just be a short in my extension cord. Let's find out. Okay, so we're at the other end of the cord and, uh, and here it is. So again, I set my, uh, my meter at the, uh, I didn't set it to the highest scale this time, which was 600 volts. I already know I'm 129 uh, or whatever, 120 volts. So um, I went ahead and set it at the uh, 200 volt scale, which is plenty enough to handle what we're testing for. And so here's the end of the plug. And the same way, you're going to look at this like you would if it was the end of the receptacle. Uh, this one should be your neutral wire. This one's your ground, should be no voltage there. But from here to here, I don't know if you can hear that or not. We have 127 volts. Okay. So we have voltage to the end of the end of the cord. And I go ahead and plug the pump cord into the extension cord and the pump kicked on but there's see it kind of shuts off if it's not in the right spot okay I don't know if you can hear the pump kicking on and off over there uh, so we're not getting a really good connection and that would indicate uh, that the the receptacle or the female side of the cord is uh, worn out and what you'd probably want to do at that point is just to go ahead and go to the hardware store, buy a new one, cut this off, and wire it back up. And in here, there's a green wire, which is your ground, a white, which is your neutral, and a black, which is the uh, hot. And uh, it would it would wire up just like I explained, black on brass, the savior, you know what. And uh, a white wire would go on the nickel or, or the, the chrome colored one. Um, for temporary fix, what you can do is you can try a couple different things. Uh, there's uh, a, uh, a metal plate on this side and there's one on the other side so that when you put your plug in there, it touches both sides of this plug. You can do one of two things. You can either pinch these two together or you can spread them apart to try to get a little bit tighter connection. And you'll see that it's, uh, you'll have to wiggle it to force it in there. But you'll get a much tighter connection uh, and that'll get you by until you can get your cord um, fixed uh, the proper way. So hopefully that helped in, uh, in a little diagnostic uh, video here to, uh, to help you guys along with uh, sustainability, doing things yourself. No sense of calling an electrician to uh, try to figure out why things ain't working. Uh, stay tuned and as I uh, come across more things that I'm trying to uh, do around here, I'll do a video on it and show you guys. So I'm going to put this I think in the uh, uh, playlist of the uh, home electrical series. So Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.